Okay, in this video we'll look at an introduction to graphing linear equations and we'll do these three examples. Um, so these three examples here. So let's start with example one. And instead of just giving you y's and x's, I'm going to try and make it a little bit more real life to begin with so it makes a little bit more sense. But supposing we had a taxi fare that was $3 per mile plus $1 base fee. What that means is when you get into the taxi, they charge you a dollar right away and, you know, $3 per mile. So what we could write is words to begin with, right? So we could write that the fare is, okay, $3, you know, and times the... Now, before I do that, I guess... Before I do anything, could you tell me what would the f what would the um, fare be if you went ten miles? Just real quick. It was just real quick in this taxi. If you went ten miles, any idea? It would be see it's three dollars per mile, so that's thirty dollars, right? And a dollar base fee, so you get charged a dollar just when you sit in the taxi. So that's $30 plus one, that'd be $31, right? So 10 miles would be $31. Does that make sense? Anyway, but, but my point is, isn't the fare equal to, like in this case, you would take your $3 and times it by 10, that gives you 30, right? And then you add on the extra $1 to make $31, right? So what I'm saying is, isn't the, the fare equal to $3 times the number of miles you go, right? plus one dollar base fee, right? So if we were to do a little table with number of miles here on the left and fare on the right, okay, then we could um, then we, we could make a little table and then graph the, the, the ordered pairs. So what I'm saying is um, and, and leave a little space underneath here because we're going to put in X's and Y's in a minute but just let's just see if we can do miles and fare to begin with like let's imagine we went um, uh, one mile and then two miles and then three miles what would the fare be in each case you know so like if you went one mile wouldn't that be three dollars times one three dollars for the one mile plus the dollar base fee right wouldn't that be four miles or four dollars sorry <laughs> the miles was one fare would be four dollars what if you went two miles if you went two miles the fare would be what three times the number of miles plus a dollar right so wouldn't it just be three times two plus a dollar or six plus one seven dollars does that make sense if you went three miles in the taxi wouldn't the fare be three times three plus one does that makes sense which is nine dollars for th going three miles plus the dollar base fee for sitting in the cab so that's ten dollars altogether right and just for fun if you went zero miles what would the fare be just for argument's sake well, maybe the, you'd be charged for wasting the, the taxi driver's time. So three times zero plus one would be zero plus one. So maybe you'd be charged a dollar base fee for sitting in the cab anyway. Who knows? Anyway, just for fun. So number of miles. Let's for fun. Let's call that the 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 input because so sometimes you know we think of the the uh, numbers on the left as the input and the numbers on the right as the output. So we're putting these numbers in and we're calculating to get these numbers on the right. Okay, so you know this is your in input and this is your output, right? Anyway, but the input you know is is usually represented by x, okay, and the output is usually represented by y. So we have the miles is the input x and fare is the output y, and you can write y equals three times the number of miles times x, right? Three times x plus one. Okay, so what we have now is a, a table plotted for y equals 3x plus 1. Okay, so, um, and if we were to plot that on the, on the graph, we have all these ordered pairs, right? We have the ordered pairs x, you know, y, right? x, y. Uh, so we've got 0, 1. We've got 1, 
4 and 2 7 and 3 10 right so go ahead and plot those ordered pairs on the graph and see what you get and then just just uh, just trace a straight line through the points right so press pause and do that yourself plot the plot the ordered pairs on the graph and then draw a straight line through them see what you get so if we plot these points we should get 0 1 x is 0, see this is the x, y axis, x is here, y is here, and then we got 1, 4, and then we got 2, 7, 2, 7, and then we got 3, 10, 3, 10, okay? And if we draw a straight line through the points, it should go like that, okay? And you would imagine that, okay, it goes on forever, right? And this line is called y equals 3x plus 1, okay? And um, yeah, that's all we've got to do here. Now we could make the line go into the negatives, like where x is negative and y is negative. You know, if we did that, the line would go down here like this. And that, that you know, that's fine theoretically, but of course, in real life, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? Because x is the, you know, in this case, it's miles, and the y is the fare. So you can't really go negative miles in a taxi and you can't really have a negative fare. So theoretically it wouldn't make sense. But you know, I'm just trying well just wanted to give an example of y equals three x plus one. You know, just give you a real life example of that. Um, example two. Prepaid coffee card, it's got an initial value of ten dollars and then it's two dollars per coffee after that. What does that mean? Well, it means, imagine you had a, so what I mean is kind of like a gift card, you know, you have this gift card here, uh, a coffee gift card, and imagine it's worth $10 at the beginning, and then every time you uh, get a fancy coffee, it, the, the value of the card reduces by two. So you get one coffee and now it's worth $8, and then you get another coffee, it's worth $6, you get another coffee, it's worth $4. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like a, yeah, a gift card, right? So every time you, uh, you buy, a gift, buy the gift card for $10, and every time it's used, $2 is taken off the value, right? So in any case, um, sorry for the weird example, but, but we'll, we'll try and understand it because we can... Give, get a real life example of this. So it's kind of like the value of the card, you know, equals what? Well, we could think about, um, uh, you know, number of coffees that that uh, you've used up on the card, right? So, for example, and leave a little space here for the x's and the y's. But for example, <coughs> if you used up one coffee what would the value on the card be? Right, so it starts out at ten dollars if you if you if you use the card to get one coffee their value is down to eight dollars, right? And how did we calculate that? Well we went um, ten minus ten minus two, right? So that we would just take okay it starts at ten dollars and then you get one coffee and you subtract two, right? Um, if you got two copies, what would the value be? If you got two copies, the value would be would be six dollars, right? Because you take off two dollars for each copy. So, how do you get that? Well, it's like ten minus four, right? Ten minus four would be six, or ten minus two times two, because two times two is two times your number of coffees. You got two coffees. So if you got three coffees, what would the value be? It would go down to four dollars. So it starts at ten dollars, right? And then you subtract six because each each coffee is worth two dollars. So ten, ten minus two times three for the three coffees. If you got four coffees, what would the value be? Be two dollars, right? Which is like ten minus eight. Right, ten minus eight is two, or ten minus two times four. So my point is, isn't the value equal to starting at ten dollars and subtract two dollars times the number of coffees, right? So just to try and give you a real life example. Now if we had, say, the number of coffees was x and the value was y, 
And the only reason we use letters in, in algebra is so we don't have to write words. Because letters always rep usually represent words, you know? And it's just more cumbersome to write words instead of letters. So we could go y equals 10, leave off the dollar sign, right? minus 2 times x. 2x is the same thing as 2 times x, right? So for example, calculate um, what would the value be after 0 copies? Well, you, you've you got x is 0 and then to calculate y you would just go 10 minus 2 times whatever x is, right? In this case, zero. So you just take your zero and you plug it in here, right? Ten minus two times zero, that's ten minus zero. So after zero copies, of course, we have the value is ten dollars, right? How about if you had five copies, what would the value be? <laughs> Using the equation, value y. So your y equals ten minus two x, you just go ten minus two times x and you just plug in five, right? or 10 minus 10. What's that? 10 minus 10? 0, right? So now you have all these ordered pairs and then you can graph them and just draw a straight line through them and that's all we're doing today. So x comma y, these are all your ordered pairs here. You've got 0 comma 10, you've got 1, 8, you've got 2, 6 and so on. So plot these points on the graph and draw a straight line through them. Press pause and do that yourself, and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So, uh, 0, 10, 1, 8, 2, 6, uh, 3, 4, 4, 2, 4, 2, and 5, 0, 5, 0. And then we just draw a straight line through those, and then that's the answer, right? And we'll just put it into the negatives. Theor theoretically, you know, there wouldn't be any such... You know, so, so basically, x is your number of coffees, right? And theoretically, you wouldn't have... Well, you wouldn't have a negative number of coffees in this direction, right? And y is the, y is the value on the card... And theoretically, the value will just go from ten dollars down to down to zero, and it would never be a negative number, right? For example, but we'll just do it for fun because it's just called it's a theoretical. When you when you plot these with y and x, you're supposed to, you know, uh, spread your line out. Not just don't just plot some points, but but just just continue your line out, basically, right? Okay, so there's two kind of real life examples with the this one's a coffee card so first of all we had a taxi fare that became y equals 3x plus 1 and then we plotted it then we had a prepaid coffee card that was y equals 10 minus 2x and we plotted that and here's a, just a completely theoretical one that doesn't make any sense at all and it, it you know it's just y equals negative x minus 6 and the question is how do we plot that well how would you plot that any idea? You do it the same way as the others. You make a table, right? With x and y. So you want to have ordered pairs, basically. If you have ordered pairs, then you can plot them on the graph, right? And how do you get the points? How do you get the points? Plug in values for x. So that is the key. Just plug in x values. Where do the x values come from? Your imagination. Make them up. Make up some x values. right? Personally, I like to start with 0 because 0 is an easy number to work with. And then after 0, 1 is also an easy number to work with. So there's two easy points right away, you know, 0 and 1. And then that's all you need because with two points you can draw a line, you know. Um, so let's just do that for fun. If x is 0, we have negative. Now if I plug 0 in for x, I've, remember if I plug it in, I've got to put parentheses wherever I see x. Okay. 
So I just do that. Negative x minus 6 is, becomes negative parenthesis minus 6, negative parenthesis minus 6. If x is 0, I plug 0 in here. If x is 1, I plug 1 in here. Okay? So see if you can write that down. Plug in a value for x and make sure to use parentheses because it'll help, it'll reduce the amount of errors you make. Now negative 0 minus 6, negative 0 is just 0, so we have 0 uh, minus 6, which of course is just if you have zero dollars and you subtract six you're in debt by six it's just negative six okay? negative one minus six if you're in debt by one and you subtract one you're now in debt by seven dollars so we've got one negative seven right and you know those points are enough to give us two ordered pairs and if you have two points then you can draw a straight line Okay, so 0, negative 6, 1, negative 7. There it is. And you can draw a straight line through that. But I would suggest at least do one more point because, because you might make a mistake. And with these um, equations, your points all have to be in a line. In a, in a straight line. So, like, if I get a point here, a point here, and then another point, like, you know, up here, and a straight line, one straight line won't go through those, oh, sorry, if I get a point here, and a point here, and then here, then one straight line won't go through those. I mean, the three points must be in a line like that, or they must be in a line like that. See that? So, I would always do three points, just so you can check your calculations. Make sure you get the right thing. So if I plug 2 in, for example, so now I've chosen to plug in 0, 1, 2, you know. And you might like to do that as well. That'll get you through most of these. Just plug whatever you've got, y equals whatever. You could just plug in x is 0, 1, 2, and then get the, the y values, and then just plot the points and draw a line through it. You could also plug in x is 3 if you want. Why not? So in any case, negative x minus 6, and if I plug 2 in, I have negative 2 minus 6, which is negative 8. Negative 8, and if I plot the point 2, negative 8, 2, negative 8, I get this point here. And then I can draw a straight line through those three points. Right? Or I could get plug 3 in, and of course I would get negative 3 minus 6, which makes negative 9. And so we have 3, negative 9. That's that point there. And then draw a straight line through it. And there we go. Right? Oops. And just put a... Make sure your line goes past all the points you do. And have arrows, arrows on each end. Because this line goes on, on and on. Right? In fact, you make it go as long as you like. Okay, and this line is called y equals negative x minus 6. So just draw a straight line through all the points and label it uh, what it is. y equals negative x minus 6. See that?